Good morning, everybody, or good afternoon, or good evening, what, whichever time it is that you're watching this. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so this is uh, The Great Reset, Glenn Beggs with Justin Haskins. Since this said, I just noticed this, it said, in my ghost thing or my radio spirit box that said maybe a nuke that's what Tristan said that he thought that it said so I just noticed on page uh, 95 in the climate change the catalyst for a new world order that's the name of this chapter I have no idea what chapter this is Hold on a second. Three. Chapter three. Climate change, the catalyst for a new world order. Okay. The nuclear option. Let me see that. Okay. Okay. So this is part one. You should always be skeptical of politicians, business leaders, activists, and others who say the only way to solve a societal problem supposedly being caused by one or more groups having too much power is to vest even more power and authority in the hands of other supposedly better, wiser, or more knowledgeable groups, especially government. This is true when considering not only environmental issues, but also every other topic of importance. British politician and historian John Dahlberg Acton, today commonly referred to as Lord Acton, famously wrote, Power tends to corrupt, and absolute power corrupts absolutely. That's a great line, but the rarely quoted sentence that follows, it, it is arguably even better. Great men are almost always bad men, even when they exercise influence and not authority. Still more when you super add the tendency of the certainty of corruption by authority. Great men are almost always bad men does not mean that the only people who achieve greatness or success in life are bad people, but rather it means that those who are able to succeed in attaining power and influence for themselves tend to be corrupted by it, no matter how good their intentions are at first. Pundits and politicians on both the left and right, continuously warn us to be wary of granting great power to any person or group. Yet that hesitancy to give power is incompatible with the goals of elite and globist institutions, all of which, to varying degrees, seek to attain substantial amounts of influence and or authority in the pursuit of some noble goal. Elites often say they care a great deal about limiting the dangers associated with the centralization of political and economic power, but that's really true only when it comes to their ideological and political rivals. They don't believe power corrupts everyone. They believe certain kinds of power corrupt certain kinds of people. This way of thinking has developed into a savior complex that is rampant within the ruling class. Especially within organizations like the World Economic Forum, in which nearly everyone believes, if only we had more authority and control over society, the world would be a much better place. Over time, no matter how altruistic a movement starts, this way of thinking always not sometimes, but always corrupts the minds of those seeking power. Okay. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.